Hello everyone, so today I will share Korean food recipe that you can try at your home. Check this out. Guabao pork belly buns. The classic fluffy steamed bun is filled with a rich, meaty, salty, savory slice of braised pork belly. But it's the three accoutrements served with it that are its true signature. To be considered the real thing, Guabao must always have pickled mustard greens, cilantro, and peanut powder. Let's go over each of the fillings. First, there's the pork belly, which is cut into bun-sized slices and then red braised. Which means it's stewed in soy sauce and rice wine that's flavored with five spice powder and other aromatics. This style of pork is commonly found on Taiwanese tables, and is often served with sides that help cut the richness. That's why pickled mustard greens are an integral part of guabao it's the classic pairing in bite-sized portions. These pickles are made by lacto-fermenting a head of mustard greens, which gives them a tangy flavor and turns them a dark. To balance the fermented flavor and drab color of the mustard greens, fresh, bright green cilantro is added as well. Cilantro is a common topping in Taiwan, sprinkled on everything from soup to ice cream. When chopped, it has a way of sticking to whatever it's on, which is especially helpful in the case of a somewhat messy bun. To maintain its crisp bite, the cilantro is typically chopped with its stems. Lastly, the bun is topped with peanut powder. Unlike the crushed peanuts commonly used in Southeast Asian, Taiwanese peanut powder is blended with rock sugar, and ground quite fine. You can make it yourself in a food processor or blender, swapping in brown sugar or raw sugar for rock sugar instead. All combined, the Taiwanese pork belly bun is a colorful, glorious combination of salty, sweet, pungent and fresh flavors. Ingredients For the pork belly 2 tablespoons vegetable or peanut oil 1 slab skin on pork belly, cut into 2 inch strips, then sliced 1 quarter inch thick. 2 medium cloves garlic, crushed. 2 slices fresh ginger, unpeeled. 1 star anise pod, optional. 1 small fresh red chili, optional. 2 tablespoons rock, brown or raw sugar. 1 quarter cup Asian rice wine Half teaspoon 5 spice powder 1 quarter cup dark soy sauce 1 quarter cup light soy sauce 4 cups water For the buns and toppings. Half cup roasted, unsalted peanuts. One tablespoon rock, brown, or raw sugar. 
6 Fresh or Frozen Chinese Style Steamed Buns 6 Sprigs Fresh Cilantro, Leaves and Tender Stems Chopped 4 Tablespoons Coarsely Chopped Asian Pickled Mustard Greens Directions For the pork belly 1. Heat the oil over medium-high heat in a large skillet or wok. Cook pork belly until lightly browned on the bottom, about 3 minutes. Flip pork belly and cook until lightly browned, about 2 minutes longer. Transfer pork belly to a plate and set aside. 2. In the same skillet, add garlic and ginger and cook over medium-high heat, stirring, until fragrant. Add star anise and chili, and sugar and cook, stirring, until the sugar is melted and bubbling, about 2 minutes. Add rice wine and bring to a boil, stirring until sugar dissolves, about 2 minutes. Add 5 spice powder, dark and light soy sauces, and water and bring to a boil. 3. Return pork belly to the skillet and reduce heat to low. Cover skillet and cook until pork belly is very tender, at least one hour or preferably two hours. For the buns and toppings. 1. Meanwhile, combine peanuts and sugar in a blender or food processor and pulse. Stopping to scrape down the sides, until the mixture resembles a coarse powder, about one minute. 2. Set a steamer over a pot of boiling water. Add buns, cover steamer and cook until buns are heated through and fluffy, about three minutes. Serving. 1. Spread pickled mustard greens inside each steamed bun and set a piece of pork belly on top of mustard greens. Top pork belly with a pinch of chopped cilantro and a sprinkle of peanut powder. Serve immediately. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe this channel. See you later.